all right welcome back so in the previous video we considered um the various analysis that we can do with regards to um checking the the five number summary we also talked about we also talked about um, for how we can find the missing values i mean the best way that we can use um and also we also saw we also saw the number of unique children that we have the data type and uh I mean, the shape does a number of rows and columns, right? So um, in this particular video, we're going to see the various distributions that we have in our data set, okay? So we're going to be more interested in the BMI, the age, and then the charges column, right? So that's that's basically what you're going to do over here. So um, as you can see, we have, let me show you this, right? So we're going to select, in our data, we're going to select these columns that we're interested in, right? That is the um, BMI. So we're using data, right? We, we're creating a new variable, right? So in our data, which contains all the data, right? We're going to select, we're going to use locate, right? That's the lock function. I mean, I mean, we're going to use the lock and then um, in this lock, we're going to select all the rows, right? And then some of the specific columns that we want, right? Remember that this is going to be a list of columns. So that's why you, you see this ones inside there, right? So that's going to be a list of columns. And this one is actually help us to do the indexing. As the, using the lock to do the indexing over here. So we're interested in the BMI, the age, and then the charges. So we're going to select a list of these, right? And then um, all the rows, and then we store everything in a variable called the dist data, okay? So if you see this data dot head, you can see that this is what we've selected, right? We selected this. Remember that we just seen dot head, which means we're seeing the first five rows instead of all the um, 330 something, something that we have, okay? Okay, so we have um, in thousands of data, but we just want to see the first five rows, right? So if, if we delete this head, and then we see, we, we're going to see all of them. All right, so this is what we're interested in, and this is what we're going to see the distribution of. Now, the first one that we're going to do is the histogram, right? We're going to use the histogram to actually see this. So let me actually show you the output that we have over here. So let me show you this output. Okay, so we're going to plot these um, various attributes that we selected or the various columns that we selected. That is the age, the BMI, and then also the charges, okay? So we're going to use um, histogram, right? We're going to use histogram for this purpose. So we have this data.hist, right? And then the bin size, that is the various bins that you can see over here. We set the size to 50, and then the figure size, right? So the figure size is actually going to be the um, the various the figure size that you can see over here which is going to be 15 as the length right and then uh we have we have 10 as the height right and then um we set in grid equals force we don't want any greater lines in there and then we we do plt dot show to actually show the data that we have right or i mean the, the the distribution of the data that we have okay so now you can see the distribution that we have right remember that we talked about the normal distribution Right. Remember that we talked about the normal distribution. So that's what you're, you're seeing over here. That our, I mean, the BMI column is actually um, normally distributed. Right. It's, it's actually normally distributed. Okay. It's actually normally distributed. Or it's Gaussian. Right. You might also miss meet this word. Right. Let me actually write it well for you. Right. Okay. It's, it's actually Gaussian or normally distributed, right? Unlike the age column, right? Or the charges column. If you see the charges column, you can see that, um, let me actually push it a little bit up. Okay. If you see the charges column, you can actually, um, see that it is, it is, it is, um, it is right skewed, right? That's the, the tail is at the right side. It is right skewed. Showing that most, most of the charges are, are, are clustered around, around maybe, um, I mean, the minimum charge, if you, if you go up here and then you see the minimum of the charges that we find earlier on, right? So the minimum of the charge, right? If you see the charges, minimum of the charges somewhere here, right? That is 1,121, right? So that's the minimum of the charge. So that's that's basically where most of the data is, is clustered around, right? You can see that somewhere here, right? Because this is actually 10,000, right? This is 10,000, so don't mistake um what you're seeing over here okay let me zoom a little bit up all right so this is ten thousand actually so it's around it's, it's around the minimum which is thousand right which is thousand and then um a thousand and then um between thousand and maybe maybe f um fifteen thousand right fifteen thousand most of the data points are clustered around that area right it's clustered around well a few of them we have a few of them which just tends to that so even some of them 
to uh, to as high as sixty thousand and above, right? So you can actually see um, the distribution of the charges as against as against the BMI, which is normally um, which is normally distributed, right? You see the BMI, which is um, which is normally distributed, okay? Which is normally distributed. So um, this is this is how you can actually see just using the um, just using the, the histogram, you can actually see the distribution of this, right? You can also use what is called the dist plot, right? You can use the dist plot. You can use the dist plot to do this. So instead of histogram here, you can use the dist plot to actually do the same thing. That will actually give you um, a better distribution with regards to normality, right? Or so the with regards to um, normal distribution of Gaussian. I mean, the dist plot will actually help you to see that one better okay so um that is done now what we're going to do over here next is actually um use the this plot right so let's see the this plot now you can see the this plot right you can see that how the this plot is actually helping us to make um even giving us what is called the kd that is the kernel density estimate right that is smooth line that you can actually see over here right so you can actually see over here so i mean the this plot is actually well behaved and it helps you to see well the distribution of your data okay so this is the disk plot on um this is present in what is called the seaborne right remember that we imported our seaborne as sns so if you go up here the earlier on when we loaded our data sets right we see that um seaborne right seaborne equals sns so that's what you're using so instead of that if we had not shortened it to sns we would have been using um seaborne over and over again which we try to prevent all right, so that is that is for the BMI. If we do it for the age, you can see the distribution that we have, right? Just like this one, where we use the histogram, right? Where we use the histogram, but this one, if you see it, now you can actually see that it's not that normally. It's trying to approach a normal distribution, but it's not um, normally distributed, right? If you see um, for for the charges also, right? You can see that this is um, more right skewed, right? This this is right skewed, so. You, you, I mean, the disk plot is more effective way of, of seeing this. You can actually see the, the kernel density estimates being um, drawn over your data for you, right? So it's combining the histogram together with the kernel density estimates to actually make you see the distribution of your data better. Okay, so um, that is it for the distribution of the various columns that we are interested in, okay? All right, so in the next video, what we're going to consider is um, checking for the presence of outliers. Then we also see um, how we can also do with, we can also do with um, null values, right? So we can do with null values in there. So um, I'll see you in the next video, right?